In this video, we're going to focus on how we can create a horizontal bar chart here, where we have for every of these, basically it's a group bar chart here, this is an entire group, and each of them has an individual label here. And as well, the tooltip will match this nicely. So let's start to look at this, how we can do this, because this trick will only work with a horizontal bar chart. In this video, we're going to focus on one of the viewers' questions, which is how to show data set labels in scale for a group bar chart in ChartJS. And this question came from one of my other videos about how to do or how to create a cumulative sum data point values from the stack bar chart in ChartJS. So in here, if you scroll down, you will see this question came from Emily. A special thank you to Emily for asking the question, and this is what Emily asked. Hi, could you make a video on group bar chart with ChartJS? And especially, or spe uh, especially, I want to show the labels of the data set under each bar column. Your help is much appreciated. All right, so let's start to look how we can do this. To do this, we first have to go and get our default code here, which is on chartjs3.com, getting started, this specific link here. For some reason, I get this error on Google Chrome, but on Firefox, it works fine. So what we're going to do here is we're going to grab the default code. We're going to copy all of this code here. And once you got this, and if you want to understand what this code does, please watch this specific video that will explain it in a way. So I'm going to paste the code here, and then what I will do is for myself is to get the title, put this title in there, there we are, save, and refresh. There we are. So now we have this bar chart here. What I need to do here is to convert it into a horizontal bar chart. The trick I'm going to use can only work with a horizontal bar chart, so that's a special note to remember. So the first thing we're going to do is let's convert this into a horizontal bar chart. So it's an index axis, and then this axis will be uh, equals to Y. Save that, refresh, there you are. So that's number one. The next thing what I want to do here is I want to duplicate this so we have two more data sets. Uh, comma, paste, comma, paste, all right. And then I will just grab here a color. So this color in here, put it in here. And then make sure here, this is the background color that should have an alpha value of number 0 0.2. And this is a black border or black background color, so we say the black seals. And next one, we will just grab this one, which is the blue color. And paste this in here. And paste that one in here. And this will be, of course, alpha value of 0 0.2. This will be the blue seals. And finally here, let's get here this one, which is the green color. Put in here and put in there and this one of course 0 0.2 and this is the green sales i'll just give some random color numbers here 12 and then this should be six this should be nine and here we have three nine all right so this one will be 18 and this one will be 12. save this refresh oh what is happening here did i forgot a comma you can see here i forgot a comma here We'll save that here, refresh. There we are. So now we have different items here. But you can see here, here it just shows us Monday, Tuesday, etc. etc. We don't want this. We want the green sales being shown here, blue sales here, and then the black sales in there. So how can we do this? Well, well basically I'm going to show you a very simple trick we can do it. We can do it in here. With the labels, we are allowed to put in an array in array. That would mean that we can have more values. So what we're going to do here is basically this. I'm going to put in enter, enter, and here indentation, and then here we're going to put in a bracket, indicating a new array, and then in here we just put in here the new values that we want in this specific order. And then here the black cells, there we are, put in there, and then we can copy this. So I'm going to do a comma here, and then what we need to do eventually is do multiple, but let me save this first, refresh, you can see here now we get this one nicely, but of course, they're still not really nicely matched. We're going to work on that one. But what we want to do here, duplicate this. Uh, so we're going to duplicate this first. Let's duplicate this multiple times. Well, in total, we need to have seven of these items. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we are. And then we can just remove all of these. And then make sure you have a bracket at the very end. So this is an array which consists of an array in array. That's basically what we're doing here. So if I refresh here now, you see this one, don't worry about this because of 
uh, it will automatically be calculated because it says that this is too big. Second, you can see the tooltip as well is now having a title, which is just the entire array value of this here. And this is, of course, not, not what we want. We're going to work on that later on. First thing what I want to do is to reduce the size of the font of the labels or of the label ticks. So what we're going to do here is we're going to the Y axis and then here we say ticks because we're going to pinpoint the ticks and in the ticks we want to pinpoint the font and in the font we want to say the size or the font size will be equal to 8. If I save this refresh now you can see this is slightly better. We can reduce it or increase it a little bit maybe more to 9. There you are that is quite acceptable as well maybe 10 save that one refresh that is probably the best one here it's quite readable so we're ready with this so the next thing what we can do you might say well hold on we have this here and uh, how do we solve then this tooltip issue here let's do that one basically you can do two things you can change this because maybe you want to have another value in there but i will not focus on that i will have another video for that you can play around with that what I want to do now is imagine I want to have here as well on the tooltip green sales on the title. And the title I'm talking about is the is basically the text that is showing is the green sales, blue sales, and black sales array. You can see here we also have a square, but that's basically the label itself. But I'm not going to adjust the label. We're going to work on the title, which is the upper long text. So how are we going to do that? So we're going to do that here, basically in the options. Then we're going to work with plugins because we're going to work with the tooltip. So say your tooltip, make sure you spell it correctly. Then in here, before you continue on, make sure you have a comma here. Then in here, we're going to use a callback. So this tooltip tip is called callbacks. And this is basically a function that will help us to create a calculation or do something in there. So what we're going to do now is here, we want to pinpoint the title. Remember, the title is the, is the bold text the bold long text that we have right now and the title by default will grab this here it's just a default setting so let's start to make now a new item because this is an array and what we really want now is not to have the entire item but we want to have the specific array so let's start to work on this you say here title and then in the title we will have two parameters which is the tool tip tool tip make sure it's spelled correctly item and comma uh, data. Well, I don't know if data is even working at all, but we can do it like that. Oh, we don't need even data, I guess. We only need the tooltip itself. So in the tooltip item, what I want to do now is a console log so you have understanding what this does or what is the information we now have. Save this. Refresh. Open up developer tab. And the moment we hover over it, you will see here we get information. And this information is very interesting because you can see here zero. All right, so that's correct because if you hover over this one, it will be a different value. Or, well, in this case, it's still zero, which is correct, but the uh, items here are different. You can see your data index six, which is correct because this is six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. This is index zero or data index zero, but you also see the data set index. If you're on the blue one, it will be data set index one. This will be data set index 2 and the green is data set index 0. So this is the information we will need where we can extract the exact value that we want. So let's start to play with that right now. As you can see here, this is the label we have. So what we're going to do here is first of all, let's do another console log. I'm going to copy this. And what we want to do now here is to say here dot label, but before I even do anything else, you can see it's always 0. So what we need to do here is basically grab here the zero value, save that and refresh, hover, and now you can see we grab all of these items here. And this here is now a string, it's not anymore an array. So this is very important because it converts it into a string. What we need to do now is convert it back into an array, and then we have to split them, basically. Or so we can, well, if they are converted back in array, we use the split array functionality or method and then we can just grab the certain item based on whatever data set index we're hovering on this is number two which would show then the black sales and if we were on this data set one which would show the matching values so that's what we're going to do right now so do we will grab a constant and this constant we need to grab here nope all right so sorry about that 
So what we're going to do now is the following. We're going to say here the uh, let me check here this what we want to do here is basically we want to split the item here. So we we grab this information here. But we want to split this. So how do we do this? Well, basically we're going to grab here our tooltip item. And this we're going to grab this here, and then we say here let's say uh, split array equal this, and then we say here dot split. And how will we split it? Well, we will do this here. You can see here, it's already considered as an array with a comma. So it already has the comma in here. So we use the comma as the determinator or the, the, uh, the, the dominator to, to change it into a array. I'm not sure if I'm saying it correctly, but that's all right. Anyway, that's the one that will convert into an array from that moment on. So once we do this, what will happen is basically, now we have the value here. So if you would, uh, console log the split array we should see now an array instead of a basic value that we have here the label so save this refresh over over here and you can see here now this is back into an array and it recognizes it so all what we need now is the item where we hover on so if we click here look at this we have this we have this data index tree uh, well that one is alright we don't need that all we need is this the data set index and that one will give us the answer what we need if we're going to hover over the item here so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say tooltip item dot data set index so if I save this now refresh if I hover over it you can see here oh well, I guess we get something here unexpected all right so let me double check what is going on here tooltip item data set index uh, unexpected item here so let me double check quickly all right so i figured out quickly so what was the issue which makes sense of course so we got this split array here and this is all fine of course but let's do console log and let me show you what is the issue here i forgot this zero here that's basically what we need because if i do this one and we just copy this first Put that in there and do this console save this refresh we get here zero one two three all right so that works we got a lot of console logs here i just going to, to remove every item here we don't need all of that then we have this one here should be like this with the zero if you refresh now you can see here we're now getting the specific item here although it moves a lot it doesn't matter so much uh let's cut this out or so copy this and then we just say here the return because this is basically how we do it now we should have everything shown nicely there we are now we have the black sales we have the blue sales and we have the green sales being shown in the title here and as you can see here we can move on to the next one as well and this is basically how you can play around with it so as i said before or earlier you're not able to do this if you would do it on a, uh, a horizontal bar chart or vertical bar chart so if i save this now change it again back you will see we get this issue here you might try to rotate this but i have so far not been able to figure out and there's no built-in setting for this so in that case i would say only use this on the y index axis here and this will work nicely so if you enjoyed this video and maybe you want to learn even more about tooltips because right now this here might be something you want to customize even deeper because there's a lot more things possible Check out this specific video about how to add more information in the tooltips in Chart.js. It's a 20 minute long video that explains every specific item here that can be extremely useful for you.